What's happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Total Blast where we'll discuss about everything Marvel in the MC. Ever since we saw the food poster for the Marvels, which is accompanied by a change in release date, fans have been wondering why the change in date. And now, a lot of people have questioned whether there is a connection between the sudden shift of the Marvels from July all the way back to November. And the harsher criticism that slammed Marvel Studios' most recent release of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So, it's possible that Marvel Studios realized that it needed to give the project more time and it was too late to delay Quantumania because it had already begun the marketing cycle and it would have been very expensive to restart at a later date. However, that's not the only thing that we'll be looking into today because we've got some major updates on Shang-Chi 2, Eternals 2 and it seems like Marvel Studios has decided to add an internal production schedule. But before we get into all of the exciting details, we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, please subscribe and enable the post notification so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. So, there have been hints that Marvel Studios is pausing after the rush of projects that were launched immediately after the pandemic caused everything to be delayed for a year. Even though we'll never know for sure and why they are delaying projects, as a result, Ever since Bok Chepek took over, they have been playing catch up and are under pressure from Disney Plus. After a more experimental season, Bob Iger is back, thus moving forward, we'll probably see a more recognizable Marvel studio. Nevertheless, according to Studio Insiders by The Wrap, the delay for the Marvels was made to give additional time for post-production. It's a surprising decision because which Disney's 100th anniversary movie will compete with it directly. A similar situation occurred last year when Strange World faced off against Black Panther Wakanda forever. But nonetheless, some people think that these efforts won't have the same outcome. But how much press production does a movie actually require? Because if we look at it, this film has had five distinct release dates as it has recently shifted from having a fourth spot in July to the fifth spot in November. I mean, the movie was scheduled to release in 2022. It actually had two release dates in 2022 before being postponed to February 17th of 2023. From there on, it was moved to July 28th of 2023 and now a new date of November 10th, 2023. But according to the rap, insiders informed them that it was done to give the movie more post-production time. Be that as it may, this is my argument. Is Disney attempting to position itself for credible denial if the movie doesn't go well? Or maybe the justification for needing more post-production time is flimsy or a certain part of the movie being redone? If not, it ought to have been finished months ago. Because releasing the Marvels is competing with other high-profile movies might provide them with a difference if it doesn't do well. For instance, the new Hunger Games movie will be released the week following Dune Part 2, which will be released in the week before the Marvels. Then, for Thanksgiving, comes the brand new animated movie Wish. Although, the rap didn't point out that Disney is once again preparing for the simultaneous release of two huge movies as Marvel will provide the Marvels while Disney is offering Wish. This happened with Black Panther Wakanda Forever and Strange World last year. One of the movies didn't perform all that well. Even if they frequently did that before the outbreak, Marvel and Disney movies in November aren't doing well after the virus. Yet, this rumor is accurate. Marvel Studios' future film will probably have an additional post-production time slot available. The fact that none of the 2024 releases has begun development is something that many people have not even noticed. Out of the movies from this year were shot in 2021 and they were all scheduled to begin in a few months. Now, moving on to something a lot more exciting. Shang-Chi 2 and Eternal 2 have been added to Marvel Studios' internal production schedule. According to a reputable industry insider, Casey Walsh, who made the revelation on social media. Now, the news that Eternals is getting a sequel is more unexpected, even though it was set up in the end of the first Eternal movie. A sequel to Shang-Chi and Legends of the Ten Ring is more of a matter of when than if. On the other hand, it's clear how the statement would alter the other in which Phase 5 or 6 movie will be released, given that Marvel Studios just changed the release order for Phase 5. Because the fact that these release timetables only take into consideration, the publicly stated film that will be on the schedule is a reoccurring theme in arguments over Marvel Studios' release schedule. There are always going to be additional movies on the schedule. The only question is how will they fit? For instance, while Deadpool 3 was just added to the schedule as the last movie of the MCU's Phase 5 at that time, the addition to the timetable was a matter of when, not if. 
Duh. It was inevitable. A sequel to the popular Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings was officially announced at the end of 2021. So, no one actually thought that the sequel wasn't going to happen when Marvel Studios produced a timetable for Phase 5 and 6. That didn't include it on it. Instead, they thought that, like Deadpool 3, it was only a matter of when they would announce it. If Walsh is right, it would seem that the timetable for the announcement is drawing near. On the other hand, a sequel to Eternals has always tended to be more speculative than the sequel to Shang-Chi and the Legends of the Ten Rings. It performed poorly at the box office and had a far lower cinema score than Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi was an A, while Eternals had a B, tied with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania as the lowest cinema score in MCU history. Peyton Oswald created a commotion when he appeared to indicate that the sequel would be released last year. But it turned out that he was only interpreting his mid-credit cameo in Peep the Troll, which was obviously setting up a sequel to suggest that the sequel would be released. Walsh reports is the first indication that we have Marvel Studios' plan to make a sequels are materializing. The fact that the movie ended on a cliffhanger made it obvious that Marvel Studios had a sequel in mind. In contrast, Marvel Studios had not previously announced any intentions for a sequel and has not done so since Oswald's remark. Oswald's co-star in Eternals, Kumnai Nanjani quickly disputed his assertion, saying, I have no idea. Nanjani said, I don't think Peyton was right. I think that was a hoax website. One of those where it's like a letter from the real one. They tweeted it and it spread around, and I think that's what Peyton saw. I honestly don't know anything. Brian Cogan, another Eternals actor who remarked that follow-up was not revealed at Marvel's presentation during San Diego Comic Con 2022, is currently unaware of any sequel plans. For updates on developments on the sequel, the actor depends on Nainjaini. Eternals was regarded as Marvel Cinematic Universe's most ambitious film at the time of its release. Eternals had mixed reviews and earned $420 million worldwide and on a $200 million budget. Despite having a strong, varied ensemble and the Oscar cachet of director Zhao, producer Nate Moore said there is no assurance that Eternals will begin a trilogy for the MCU. It's not a requirement, according to Moore. Undoubtedly, we'll have ideas for potential destinations, but there is no absolute requirement that we'll have three of these, and this is the first. If Eternals 2 is released by Marvel, Cass Fipo, the original writer, has a proposal to pit the immortal extraterrestrial race against Galactus, the greatest comic supervillain. Galactus is a wonderful figure and villain, according to Fipo. We are, as you know, obviously setting the stage for intergalactic, cosmic, megalith confrontations, especially when you kill a space god and then the space god comes and kidnaps you and plans to judge Earth. Now, I think the door is very much open for world-eating villains. Anyway, while no specific dates for the movie potential developments were given, a quick glance at Marvel Studios' current release schedule suggests that fans wouldn't anticipate Eternals 2 or Shang-Chi 2 until at least 2025. Now, two unnamed Marvel movies are slated to come out in 2025 and three in 2026. In normal circumstances, it would be logical to believe that these two projects which the news is currently leaking will be competing for the time for 2025, but times are changing. And back to our giveaway. We're giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel once we hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers. And all you have to do to win is watch our videos, subscribe, turn on post notification, like and comment. And one lucky subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win our brand new PlayStation 5. Also, we want to say thank you to everyone who has supported us this far. We truly appreciate it. What are your thoughts about this video? And what do you think about these latest additions to the MCU? And what's your take on the time-changing slots for movies on the MCU calendar? Please, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notification so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.